Hello world, I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to let you guys know about yet another reason to not own a dog. And especially to not bring it into your house. I saw this, dogs belong on couches. They absolutely do not belong on couches, nor do they belong on beds or any furniture. They do not belong in your home. Because male dogs leak semen and smegma all over the place. If you were to go into the home of a dog owner, someone who has a male dog, and you took one of those ultraviolet lights and you searched their home, you would see that it is completely contaminated with traces of smegma and semen. Dog owners are either unaware of this, but I don't think so because so many of them see the penis dripping. They know this is happening, yet they keep the dog in their house. This blows my mind, but their hygiene standards are so low that they are fine with this. This is sick because these people would never tolerate a human male dripping semen and smegma all over their house, right? That would be unacceptable. But when a dog does it, it's okay. That's crazy. You can say, oh, the dog doesn't know better. It can't wash itself. It can't wear underwear. Well, uh, it's still smegma. It's still semen. It doesn't matter what the dog is capable of or whatever. You're still living in a contaminated house. How do you tolerate this? Now, people are saying that it's normal for adolescent dogs to quote-unquote get excited, even if they're not humping anything. They'll just spontaneously get excited and drip semen. In other cases, the discharge is more thick, Cottage cheese like. Ugh, this is so disgusting, guys. And they go to the vet thinking their dog might have some sort of infection in its penis, and they are assured that this is normal. Not a cause for concern. It's not a medical issue. It is normal for the dog to drip smegma off its dick onto the furniture all over your house. So, what do these people do? I guess some of them think this is just fine and dandy. Others purchase these belly bands, which fit around the dog's waist and go over its penis. And a lot of people I see are buying these things because their dog is marking its territory inside the house. This is a very common problem. Male dogs will pee all over your house to mark their territory, right? Very common problem. You can read about this online. And uh, they purchase these belly bands to try and stop the dog from dripping its semen and smegma all over the place. The problem is the dogs don't like it. Surprise, surprise. They don't like wearing these things. They try to get out of these things. They take them off. Um, people are talking about how difficult it is to find a uh, size that fits the dog. You know, this person's talking about going to the store, buying a small size small that was too small they bought a medium that was too big. <laughs> you know, fitting your dog into one of these things is really difficult because it's not natural for dogs to wear these things. You know, it's not difficult for a, a, a human to wear underwear. I live with three males. They all wash their own penises every day. I don't have to do that. I did when my, when, when my sons were very, very young, but they can now wash their penises by themselves. It didn't take long for them to learn how to do this. Dogs will never be able to do this. My boys are fine with wearing underpants. They don't try to take them off. It's not difficult to find the right size. It's not an issue. When my kids were babies, when they were young, they never tried to take off their diapers. I don't remember one time, you know, these child-hating freaks will talk about how disgusting children are and they're always trying to rip their diapers off and smear shit on the walls and stuff that's not true i have three kids they've never done anything like that and it's not long before children can take care of their own hygiene dogs will never be able to wash themselves they will lick their penises but how clean is a penis getting when it is licked honestly people call this cleaning what if i licked all over my body would you want me to sit on your couch Naked, no underwear on. Now think about this. You're not cleaning yourself. You're just covering yourself with dried, bacteria-ridden saliva. 
And then even worse, the dog tries to lick you afterwards. Anyway, you know, human beings wear underwear. They wear, they wear clothing. But dogs don't. I don't see any belly bands in my town. I've never seen a dog in one of these things. So let me know if you have. I don't think they're very popular. It's also very common for dogs to drip urine all over your furniture and your floors because of incontinence or other health issues, which are very, very, very common in dogs. Dog owners tolerate this as well. You know, human beings can wear pads and so forth. And, and some people do put diapers on their dogs. But how many people are doing this? Like I say, I, I, I've never seen a dog in a diaper. Have you? Dogs get their periods. How do people deal with this? I'm sure a lot of people are having their homes covered in period blood and urine and semen and smegma. And unless the dogs are being fitted with diapers, this is the reality. This is a reason to not go into their homes. They are completely contaminated. These people are sitting on their furniture. And then going to work with their contaminated clothing, contaminating the workplace. I'm just so grossed out. You do not have to be a germaphobe to recognize how disgusting this is. Most people would realize this is disgusting when a human being does it. But somehow, dogs get a free pass. And why? Because they're a different species? Because they're unable to clean themselves properly or wear clothes? Listen, it doesn't matter what the source of the smegma or the urine or the semen or the fecal matter is. It's still the same substance. Like, what? Imagine a human being sitting their bare ass down on your couch or your bed or your car seat and pressing their exposed dirty anus onto the seat or whatever and leaving an imprint of fecal matter, right? Leaving bits of shit behind. Anyone in their right mind would be upset about this. But dog owners, when a dog does it, call it poopy kisses. You can't make this shit up. They think it's endearing and adorable. This is crazy. Because I'm sure these same people would be very upset if a child or any human would do this. But when a dog does it, it's adorable. What kind of mental illness is this? I don't care if these secretions and fluids are dripping out of a human or a dog or a beaker or a vial for that matter. It doesn't matter to me what the source is. I don't want these substances contaminating my home. And I don't have them contaminating my home because I don't own a pet. And my boys can contain that shit. They take care of that. It's not all over the place. Uh, and I enjoy my clean home. If you didn't know about this before, now you do. Let's raise awareness. Please share my videos. Like and subscribe. The future is pet free.